Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Healthcare and pharmaceutical products distributors, medical disposables and supplies registered less profit for its first quarter ended June. Post-tax earnings for the period was $16.54 million compared to $25.48 million for the same period last year. The company's revenue for the quarter, however, grew by 30% to $892.5 for $3 million. For the same period in 2021, medical disposables and supplies total income was $682.58 million. Now the company says its performance was driven by a strong increase in sales. Cybersecurity solutions company Fortinet says Latin America and the Caribbean saw an increase in cyber attack attempts for the first half of the year. According to a report from the company, 137 billion attempts were made between January and June this year. This represents a 50% uptick compared to the same period last year with 91 billion attempts. Ransomware attacks and ransomware signatures doubled in the region up to June, reaching 52,000 detections and 10,666 detections, respectively. Mexico had the highest ransomware distribution activity in the region for the period. The Local Services Industry Board more money more loans and advances in 2021 compared to 2020. The Economic and Social Survey showed there was a 10% nominal increase in the value of lending to the sector. Considering inflation and exchange rate factors, this reflected a 2.6% jump in real terms, amounting to $345.1 billion. Now, the latest growth, the largest growth in loans and advances was seen coming from financial institutions, which grew by 31% to $21.3 billion. This was followed by a 7.3% growth in lending to the distribution sector and a 3% growth in funds borrowed by members of the transport, storage and communication industry. Now let's head to the markets. The US dollar is being sold for an average $151.56. $117.24 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. $179.14 for the pound while it's costing an average $153.59 for the euro. The JSE index gained 620 points today, while the junior market index lost 4 points. Among the winners were CAC 2000 9.5% Cumulative Redeemable Preference Shares, CAC 2000, Simody Group, Massey Holdings and Indies Pharma Jamaica. While on the losing side were JPS 9.5% JPS Shares, Epley Caribbean Property Fund SCC, Radio Jamaica, Main Event Entertainment Group and Cargo Handlers Limited. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.